allows us to explore a number of new ideas towards reimagining our relationships to natural systems uh, in an urban context. Something ticks under the building and suddenly sprouts some connections to its windows. Like, there is another way to look at architecture. You're hacking uh, architecture. Place. Yeah. Yeah. The urban space station is a parasite architecture. An urban space station can be either heliported or locally built by its own user with barn rating methods. The station is an advanced greenhouse that purifies the air we breathe, recycles our waste while locally producing organic food without burning fossil fuels and encouraging social coherence within a neighborhood. When we breathe, we transform O2 rich air into CO2 rich air. The greens do the contrary, they eat CO2 and give away O2 rich air, good for both plants and people. Our waste, urine, feces, biodegradable garbage, is digested, collected and pumped into a hydroponic garden circuit to feed the plants. We can eat the vegetables that can become a little habitat for our fauna. The temperature difference between the inside and the outside generates condensation on the station membrane. We collect this water into aquariums in which we cultivate edible algae, shrimps, frogs, fishes, etc. The urban space station works as a temperature regulator. The air turbines are solar power, which means they pulse air proportionally to solar exposure and temperature. The urban space station is an open profitable urban agriculture facility enhancing life quality in cities, purifying air, producing locally food and providing a beautiful community space. The urban space station is also a scientific experiment to evaluate how fauna and flora could extend and complement the life of astronauts in space missions. So in, in a section you know, this is occupied by a leaf surface area. Mm -hmm. A leaf surface. Yeah. And that means that the rest of this is a shaded lab space, right? Okay. But it's a very, very optimized space in which plants and humans are meant uh, to live together. Hacemos la calculación. Mm -hmm. to get a, a space station on your roof would involve um, coming to the clinic, making an appointment, getting a prescription, evaluating your building, um, figuring out the volume, the amount of CO2 produced, the structural load, enlisting other people in your building to fund, and we've got some funding mechanisms, and then doing a fundraising raising event to to um, implement it quickly, cheaply, and easily with a gang of interested people. So the exhibition was firstly planned as digital art, uh, but this is new media. Like, media is artists are working now with all kinds of materials and all kinds of techniques and all kinds of uh, mm -hmm. elements and all kinds of processes. <laughs> the, the whole idea is that the elements are human scale, human manipulable, you, you need no heavy machine. Yeah.